Agent 47 and Diana Burnwood are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. Unknowingly, they have been hired by a shadow client to target a number of operatives of Providence, a secret organization working in the highest echelons of power. Providence's controller, the Constant, approaches Diana and makes her a deal. Eliminate the shadow client and learn about 47's past. But when 47 discovers that the shadow client is Lucas Gray, his lost childhood friend, he and Diana switch sides to fulfill an old pact. Destroy Providence. Together, they manage to capture the Constant, forcing him to reveal the identities of the three Providence partners. Eliminate them, and the war would be over. However, the Constant has an ace up his sleeve. Look closer. In the shadows. Behind the everyday world. Beyond the headlines and the seats of power. A hidden hand. A kind of company known as Providence. To it, we were just assets to use and throw away, to do the unthinkable, the unforgivable, and it never gave us a second thought until now. After decades in the shadows, we are fighting back, me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the Constant, Providence's chief controller, and finally learnt the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And, just maybe, look towards the future. 37. It's time. Partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? <laughs> what the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Right. 
This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. Welcome to Dubai, 47. Today is the inauguration of the scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. 47. Come in. 47, do you copy? I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards the point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there. Use your camera and scan the lock, will you? I think I can override the window's controls from here. I'm in position. 47, the inauguration is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. We are so close, 47. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. Love to fit, my friend. 
loyalty, lesser nobility even, they could do it. Listen, I want to talk to the partners directly, make them understand why all of this is happening. And that terminal gives me an idea. There's a server room near the Sheikh's personal reception. If you can gain access to it, we might be able to recover useful intel from it. We'll have to work together to hack the system, but it's our best shot. to run by you. Oh, that can wait. Cornelia, don't go! Get right the there. Room. That's Marcus Stuyvesant. Providence partner, self-entitled and arrogant little worm. He might not look like much, Sorry, but he's done more but damage to the more world more than you could dream. Issue, the sun oh, I'm sure you can handle it. That's what I pay you for. I, I know. But this could be a serious problem. Darling, you know how it works. We've gone over this a thousand times. See what you can do, and if everything fails, then you get me. This is my day, and I pay you to make sure I can enjoy it. Understood? Yes, Lucy. Good. Now off you go. I have important things to take care of. security that's sharp and focused. We know he's arrived. I'm sure he's just changing into his uniform. He'll be here very soon. Good. Remember to check his papers before you call me. I don't want some snot-nosed newbie. Of course, sir. We'll let you know. Good. And please, when I come back, no more excuses. I'm a personal friend of His Royal Highness, Omar al Ghazali. Stuyvesant is expecting a replacement guard. If you can locate him, we should be able to get within strangling distance of the little worm.
my wife sent me a link as a joke. And now all I see online are ads for these fucking shoes. There should be a box you can check when you're just cringe browsing, you know? It's around here somewhere. Don't you worry. A colleague is also out there looking. But this is awful. I mean, I'm in my boxers and you are a woman. It's just so embarrassing. Oh, it's nothing I haven't seen before. But you don't understand. I'm military. We military men are used to punctuality. I, I was supposed to be ready and present my papers half an hour ago. Yes, you men in the army with your papers. Super punctual. I get it. Are you making fun of me? That's so cruel. Do you do you know what a man is without his gun? <laughs> man in his boxes, crying like a baby. Ugh, you women will never understand. <laughs> and I don't think we ever will. I think I can open that window remotely. Scan the lock with your camera and I'll have a try. Looking good today, sir. Reporting for duty. About time. Our client has been going out of his mind waiting for you. Do you have the papers? Yes. Good. I'll call him now. How should I address him? It's classified. So, you don't call him anything. But officially, he's just known as codename Pinky. Sir, this is security. Just calling to let you know your new guard has finally arrived. Yes, sir. See you soon. Okay. Wait here. He'll be here shortly. So, how you... Okay. You must be my new escort. I have very high standards and trust you will do your duty. You have your credentials on you? Greetings, sir. Well, this all looks very promising. Yes. Good. Oh, you worked for Darwood Rangan. Hope you weren't there on the day of his tragic death. A 
Okay, this all looks very good. Come on, let's walk. I need to tell you a bit about what I expect from you. I expect you to be by my side 24 7, unless I say otherwise. Bathroom breaks are, of Even course, big permitted, safe, but huh? only when I yeah, say nice so. Gig. I have a very important, delicate meeting today, in which I expect you to keep your ears closed, but your eyes wide open. Understood? Now, your papers were indeed impressive, but I need to see what you can do with my own eyes. My father used to take me hunting. He was an avid hunter. I personally hated it, but always admired his skill with a knife and grew to appreciate what it takes to gut an animal. Have you ever tried to gut an animal? Yes. Good. Then you know it's not so easy as it looks. Like trying to stab a rubber ball. It bounces back if you don't stab it correctly. You're almost here. You have to understand. I get where I am by blind faith. Okay, we are almost there. You see the shooting targets? Any fool can shoot a target. Now, that's where the talent lies. My father always used to say, if you are good with a knife, you're even better with a gun. I want to see your skills. I don't know why, but I've always trusted a man who would throw a knife. <laughs> I'm sure a psychiatrist would have a field day with that statement. So, show me what you got. Do well and you work for me. Fail, you get out of here. I never want to see your face again. It's just hope it's not as good as you were. Only time will tell. But I know. You cocky idiot. That was a magnificent performance. I like you. I think we will get along just fine. You've okay. gained his trust. I I got the right man now. What to do Thank with all that power? Take the rest of the day off. You deserve it. Thank you, sir. It was an honor. Thank you, sir. You impressed me. You really did. But let's get to work. Some things you should know about me, and this is very much on a need-to-know basis. I am here incognito. So I want you to stay close, but not too close. Especially when we are out in public. If you see a man with a bodyguard, it draws attention. Understood? Yeah, of course you do. Come on, follow me. Just a precaution. I've been personally invited by the Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali. I should have clearance. The name is Zaina Kazim. Sir, I understand. But you can't enter without being searched. It's standard procedure. This is ridiculous. Well, that's how it is. Think about it and come back if you want. I'll be waiting upstairs in the Zana Kazim, aka the Vulture. One of the top agents working for Crystal Dawn, the Pan African terrorist organization. I almost hired him myself once, but chose the Maelstrom instead. Now what is his business here? Exception. Understood. Crystal. into my body. It's a smoking area. If you don't like it, piss off. Jesus, I'm just asking nicely. 
No, you were being a bitch. Now go away and binge eat some celery or whatever idiots like you do. Or I'll do something worse than blowing cancer in your face. Oh my god, what is your problem? <coughs> you are sick. You have no idea. Hold it, sir. I can't let you enter before I have a look in your pockets. Sorry about this, sir. Won't be a moment. Thank you. Please proceed. Oh, Mr. Kazim, I'm glad you changed your mind. Arrogance can be a dangerous trait. Yes, indeed, it can. Mr. Ingram has been expecting you. We have a conference room set up for you. Hey, bud. Please, go in and make yourself comfortable. Mr. Ingram will be with you shortly. Thank you. Mr. Kazim. Pleasure to meet you. Omar tells me great things about you. I'll get straight to the point. I have a, well, let's call it a dispute, which the Royal Highness tells me you're very capable of taking care of. Now, I've worked with your organization before, in Morocco, I believe, so I'm a little hesitant. Don't be. We do what's needed. Well, only time will tell. I have two assignments for you. Take care of the first one, and then we can discuss the bigger fish. Now, on to the first. An acute problem has been brought to my attention. Keep talking. I'll be candid with you. No one is supposed to know that I'm here. However, there's a journalist down at the inauguration, and he's asking rather intrusive questions about who's staying up here, and that is a very dangerous problem for me. Now, I want you to silence this little pain. You think you can do that? It's what I do best. I like your bluntness. This is his file. Hans looked. Pulitzer winning freelance journalist. He's good and won't give up until he gets the answers he needs. And that can't happen. Consider it done. Good man. And remember, I want a picture. I want proof so I can sleep tonight. Of course. Once this little assignment is completed, come back and talk to Miss Toe. Then we can discuss the real cancer that needs to be removed. I'm sure you can see yourself out.
Mr. Lucht, I hear you're looking for information. Oh, really? Okay. You know what's happening upstairs? I know more than you could imagine. But we can't talk here. Follow me. Great. Lead the way. I'm a Pulitzer Prize winning journalist. I'm not following you anymore. You are wasting my time. Goodbye. Yes, that's it. Now Ingram trusts you, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. Hello, sir. All right there. Just keep calm. Sorry, sir. It seems you're not cleared for this area. Need to leave. Thank you. Mr. Kazim, welcome back. So, you have the picture? Yes, here. Good. Our guest will be delighted. Please follow me. He's waiting. If you just follow me, Mr. Kazim. No need to panic. I apologize about the incident earlier downstairs, but you have to understand that we need to keep security tight, no matter who. All our guests go through the same procedure. Do you Same like the building? I'm not pretending to have all the this answers, has been his royal like highness's dream. I think for even food. longer than I have known him. Everything here is completely self-sufficient. 
electricity, internet, even water is cleaned and reused. It's the first of its kind on this scale. It was important for him to look to the future. Here we are. Mr. Ingram is expecting you. Mr. Cassie, so good to see you. Do you have the picture? Yes. Your problem is fixed. Huh. Omar said you were good. Let's get down to the important business at hand. Okay, people, clear the room. I need to discuss some delicate business with Mr. Kazin. Perfect. We have Ingram right where we want him. Please make yourself 47, you know what to do. Now, where was I? Oh, that's right. My man here will stay for the meeting. I assume that will not be a problem. Either way, you have no choice in the matter. It's interesting we haven't come across each other before, Mr. Kazim. Well, maybe not. I no, usually man. have my people talk to people like you. I can imagine. I don't know how much Omar, I mean, the Royal Highness, has told you. But my guess is very little, so let me get straight to the point. My organization has been hit by an unpleasant cancer that can only be removed by cutting it out of the gut. If you get my drift. Yes, I do. Good. This little turd is spreading his vile, toxic cells, and I want him stopped. Brutally. Chemo won't remove him. Only the knife. I have his file here. Arthur Edwards. A sly little devil, if there ever was one. Me and my associates, well, we underestimated the little worm. We want... Revenge. I think you and I share a common interest. I doubt that. But I want you to make him suffer. This is not a horse that needs to be put out of its misery. This is a rabid dog that needs to be put down. Am I making myself clear, Mr. Kazim? Yes. Consider it done. Good. We're now in business. We are. I'll have Miss Toe send you anything you need. We're done here. Oh, uh, one last question. I'm just curious. You're nicknamed the Vulture. Why? I find it's best to wait for the perfect kill. I think you'll be perfect for the job. Nice to meet you, Mr. Kazim. I look forward to receiving an update. Safe hunting. Guard! Yes, Mr. Please show Mr. Kazim out. Yes, sir. Mr. Kazim, please follow me. Mr. Kazim, you need to listen to me. Follow me and don't get sidetracked. But people like Phillips shouldn't have to choose between having food or having
Follow me and don't get sidetracked. Looking good, man. Looking good. There's a keypad lock on the doors to the staff area. One moment. All right, try this. Four, seven, zero, six. Sheikh Al-Ghazali is reaching out to his worldwide network of lawyers and financial contacts, attempting to restore the lost power base of the Providence Partners. If Ingram and Stuyvesant were asked to a meeting, thinking they'll be told of new developments, I suspect they'd jump at the chance. There's a lounge area at the top of the building. It can be sealed off for private conversations. If we lure the targets there, they'll be trapped. The room should be behind one of the doors in this hallway. Calendar function. We can use this to summon the partners to a fake meeting, 47. All right, I'm no hacker like Olivia, but I think you need to pull one of the racks here to gain access to the terminal. Damn it, a silent alarm has been tripped. Security is on its way. Hide, 47.
course, it's all fine here. Oh, I hate this system already. System online. Yes, sorry about that, 47. Let's try again, shall we? Ah, I think I've got it. We'll need a key card to gain access. Someone in maintenance should have one we can borrow for a spell. Hey, it's me. I thought about what you said. Yeah, I changed my mind. It was insane. soon as possible. Bye. Well, that must have done something. Can you see anything different in the room? Good. We're in. Now all you need to do is access the terminal and use the calendar option to summon the Providence partners to a meeting. Good work. The meeting has been booked. The partners should be moving up here shortly. Huh. Looks like the lounge can be sealed off for private conversations. Andy. Excellent. I see the partners moving. You should join their meeting. Time to end Hello. this, 47. Yeah, I just want to remind you about the... Uh... How are you, sir? Just wait for the partners to be alone. Then you can activate the room's lockdown. The partners are alone now. Where is he? I'll activate the panel the controlling the room's security table. features. Surely when you're ready, use it to Do start you know the show. What he wants to talk about? No, but I've known this man for a long time. He wouldn't call us up here without good reason. I trust his people will have multiple scenarios ready for us very soon. Which reminds me, we need to discuss Alexa. <laughs> What's there to discuss? She left us. At the most critical moment, she abandoned ship. That family has never been trustworthy, and Alexa just proved to us that she, and indeed any of her heirs, isn't up to the task. I agree. She displayed extremely poor judgment. I hope Omar is able to step up. At this time in particular, we need a solid foundation to rebuild from, and someone to help us hit that traitor Edwards 
where it hurts. Oh, he'll get what's coming to him. <laughs> Don't get me started on Carlisle and her ridiculous need to sort her affairs. What affairs? Clearly sorting out this giant mess should be top priority, but no, not for Madame Carlyle. I can't help but wonder if Alexa's insistence on tagging Edwards before he went to that preposterous island gathering of his is what set this whole thing off. I never did like the twins. What's this? Carl? Did you do that? I certainly did not. I have no idea what's going on. Gentlemen, what's the meaning of this? You. You're the one responsible for all this. Gray, what do you want? Something that has been a long time due. Revenge. Revenge? How banal. You killed Cobb, Navikov, Caruso, the Washington twins, everyone at Haven. You broke into our bank. And you outed Providence to the world. Whatever perceived slight we've done to you is insignificant to the amount of damage you've caused us. You've caused the world. You're a murderous terrorist. Nothing more. What did we ever do to you anyway? You specifically? Nothing. Providence? Everything. Providence made me. And at the flick of a pen, Providence broke me. I'm just returning the favor. Providence has ruined the lives of countless people, expecting and facing no consequence for its actions. You take for yourselves and those who support you, and you burn everyone and everything else to the ground from the comfort of the shadows. No more. You're delusional. Exposing us achieved nothing beyond moving a few pieces around on a board much more complicated than you can fathom. The world believes we're dead. What more do you want? Me? Nothing. My friend, however, well, let's just say he's a bit of an expert. I'm just here to watch you die. 47, finish it off. Get out of here. Here. Where the hell 47. is that you dare to throw that? Finish it. Finally, Stuyvesant and Ingram are gone. Providence will soon be no more than a bad memory. 47. Thank you. I'll meet you at the rendezvous on the edge of town. That's your winning face. I'd hate to see you lose. We underestimated the constant. 
Yeah, he's a glorified desk clerk. He's not just after the money. He wants it all. We caught him once, we can do it again. And... Well, we're not the ones who let him escape. You still don't trust her? I don't like executive decision makers. Look, you don't have to follow her, you know? Soon, this will be over. Maybe it's time to think about the future. You have to face the possibility that there's no going back. If the ICA knows what you did, she'll make it right. She always does. We have a fix on Carlisle. Come on. We've got a plane to catch. I hope you like the rain, 47. Miss Burnwood. How did you... I have everyone's number. You really ought to know by now. You planned this. All of it. Don't be silly. I just played the hand I was dealt. We'll find you. You had me. Where'd that get you? We handed you an empire. It's for the best. The partners were complacent, set in their ways. But power is more than just security. Providence can be an agent of change. Surely you understand. Or you will. Soon enough.